Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so sorry that I'm not filming for so long. I feel like I literally start every video like that now and it's actually so annoying. But I've just been so busy with uni deadlines and they're eating me alive. I'm in fourth year now, so I've literally, well, you don't care, but... <laughs> But yeah, so I got asked to show you how I like to apply loose glitter and how I like to draw draw on my lips, how I like to lip, line my lips and apply lipstick and stuff. They're pretty simple things, but up to Christmas and stuff, I'm sure that everyone's wanting to wear a lot more glitter and I will have more tutorials that aren't like this um, sort of how-to things that are just a bit boring, like I'll do some more exciting looks with glitter um, coming up soon. But I, I got asked basically how to apply loose glitter and how to how I like to overdraw my lips. So that is what I showed you in this video. I did like a blue smoky eye, just I don't know why. I was like feeling experimental. Um, anyway, this intro is five million years long. But yeah, if you want to see my tips and tricks on how to apply loose glitter and how I like to overdraw my lips, then please keep watching. I tried to do like a blue smoky eye. I don't know how I feel about it. I've never done one before, but the main focus of this is going to be on the application of the glitter. So I'm going to just quickly show you how I did this. I'm going to take this colour here and mix it with this one. I don't actually have the um, names, so I don't know what they're called. And I'm going to take a little bit, I don't know, I did this on the side, but I don't know if I like it or not. I'm going to take some of this little, like, jade colour, and then I'm going to pack that blue on my eyelid. Let me know if you like this smoky eye, because I really don't know if I do or not. This is just to sort of give me a little bit of a blue base, and like, to sort of help blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with that blue. Um, on a Morphe E17 just because I want to sort of blend it as, as I'm applying it but if you want to just use a, like a flat packing brush that would probably give you a better colour payoff than this one will. I don't mind going in a few times. My eyelids are so dry at the minute. I don't know if it's because it's literally so cold here but it doesn't look too good. And then I'm going to go back in with that um, brush that I used with the browns and blend that out a bit more just so I don't want to put too much of the blue on because you don't want it to look like you've been punching the eye. I'm going to focus the glitter like you can see on this eye just in this inner part which is really going to open up the eyes and make them look more sort of almond shape. If you want to make your eyes look big and round then maybe do like a bit of a, a halo eye. So put like your blue like in the outer corner and the inner corner and then leave this middle bit blank and then put your glitter all at the middle and that will make it look more round and awake and sort of open but this is going to make it look a little bit more like sultry and cat like even with the wings just enhancing that a bit more. I've shown you this before on my channel I like to go in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This is my favourite. Um, there's loads of them on the market though so it's up to you what ones you want to get. If you want like the easy route of glitter as you've seen me use a million times these um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliners are really really good. They're so easy because you can just paint on it's not really fiddly or messy at all. I'm with a loose glitter today just to show you how, what to do with it because that is what I got asked to do. So I'm going to be using this, oh my god this is so scary, if I drop this I will die. This is MAC Reflex Gold. So I'm going to take a little bit of the glitter glue first, you really don't need a lot. Because I'm just in the inner part of my eye, so I'm going to take about that much. Tiny like sort of lip brush. Um, it has got glitter on it from before, but honestly I'm going to be using this for the glitter anyway, so it's fine. So I'm just going to dab that into that glue. And just rub it around on the brush. Oh, we're very close and personal. So I'm going to start with this on my eyelid. And I'm going to just um, carve out, like you would if you were going to do a cut crease, and carve out this bit of my eyelid. It shouldn't really give you any colour payoff, this one is just a clear one, so. Um, and then I'm just going to pat this everywhere that I want the glitter to stick to. So I'm putting it just in this little third here and right down into that inner corner, like that. And then I'm going to take the same brush that I've just used, not cleaning it off or anything, and dip it into that glitter. So I've got glitter all on this side. And then I'm going to go in and just tap that onto the glue. I would recommend doing this before you do your foundation and stuff because then you can just wipe it off really easily. So this is it packed on all over the bit that I've done with the glue. 
but I don't like how it looks when it's like a um, like a stark line down here. So what I'm going to do is just sort of pull the glitter out a little bit. I've picked up a little bit more in my brush and this bit doesn't have glue on it so it's not going to stick as well but I don't want it to so that's fine with me. So I'm just going to sort of pull it out randomly, different lengths, just so it looks like it's blended into the eyeshadow. See how that looks a little bit more blended. So I did a wing on this eye so I'm going to go ahead and just match it up on this side. I'm using my Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner like I always do. I've not actually done a wing in ages. I'm going to go in with some mascara and some falsies. The falsies I'm using as always are Ardell Wispies. I just think these are the best. Like they look so natural and they just look like you've got mega all long eyelashes. Like I don't think they look fake at all and the band is so thin so you can get right up and close to your eyelashes. I just love them. And I think I might put some black in my waterline. Just to tie it all together, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Eyeliner black one, and I'm just gonna run this in my waterline and my tight line. Right, so it's really, really messy like that. You can see. And then I'm gonna take the Anastasia little double-ended brush and just take the flat end with that blue on it. And really going to buff that out. If you wanted to do like full blue on your eyelid, I would really recommend going in with a black base. Like I said, this is the first time I'm trying this, so it's a little bit trial and error. I think I would do that if I did this next time. I would definitely go in with a black base because look how much more vibrant that is. Next thing I got asked to show you is how I overlay my lips and how I like line them, do them all together. So and I'm going to show you how to do that. Obviously there's no proper way to do this, it's up to you, it's everyone's lip shape's different so this is just what works for my lip shape. I do always like to overlay my lips a tiny bit when I'm wearing makeup because, I don't know, I just like the look of big lips. So this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade Cappuccino. So this is just like a sort of brown nude and I always use this one or MAC Stone. Um, this is obviously just the cheaper alternative, I think this is like 3 or £4. And it's so good, I use it all the time. So I've just sharpened it so it's nice and sharp. I'll zoom you in a little bit. I never really overdraw my bottom lip, I just overdraw this top lip a little bit. So I will show you how I do that. So I always just do the bottom lip first because I know I'm just going to keep it the same. What I like to do is, I don't know if you can see, there's like a white line around the colour of your lips. And I'm sure everyone's got this. I always just draw on that white line rather than drawing on the pink bit. And that just makes it look bigger. So that is the bottom lip lined. And I'm going to talk, say this again, I think I might have said this in a video before but I'm really not sure. But um, I'm going to show you one side of me drawn on the sort of outline bit here of my lip and one just drawn on the pink bit and you'll see the difference. So I'm going to go on this side where I would normally overdraw. So that's that there with me outlining there and I always do like a little cross here. I don't know why, I just always do that. And then this side I'm going to show you what it would look like if I just done the pink bit. So as you can see, that's like a massive difference. Yeah, that just makes such a huge difference to your lip shape if you just go over that little bit. So that's what I like to do. I mean, if you want it to look small, then that's completely fine. It's up to you. It's just what I prefer. I'm not choose anything too out there to go with this blue makeup because I don't know how I feel about it and it's a bit out there. So I'm just going to go with a nude. This is Corset from NYX Lip Lingerie. This is more of like a cool tone nude. So, and it's like on the cheaper side, so we've got a very cheap lip going on now. So if you want, you can blend in these bits, but I find that uh, liquid lipsticks are quite pigmented, so you don't really need to. That colour there, I really like this colour, it makes me look so pale though, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I literally look like a ghost. But that's how I like to do my lips. Makes them look like nice and full. I'll be doing a lot more tutorials coming up to Christmas. Oh no. I've been doing a lot more tutorials with glitter coming up to Christmas I'm sure so if you want to see more of them then just stay tuned. If you like this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it would really help me out knowing if you actually like these kind of like how to videos more like sort of informative ones if you will. Even though I'm not a professional I don't really know what I'm doing I just like make it up along the way. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.